What is up you filthy animals? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today... You know what? I never really have anything normal planned for this channel. So, um, yeah. So today we're going to be growing crystals. Because I have no friends. This is what I do with my time. Oh. Anyways, um, so my mom got me this crystal growing kit. I don't know if it's focused. It's probably not. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know how it works. I read the instructions last night. They seem pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, that's that's basically all we're gonna be doing today. I don't know, man. It, it is what it is. Okay. I am, in fact, aware of the fact that my room is a mess. So, um, <laughs> lol, I read the safety precautions last night. <laughs> it gave me a bit of a skrk for my life. But, you know what? I, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You know, it's like COVID. Keep your hands away from your eyes, your mouth, your your nose, your ears or whatever. I don't know. Any place basically where it can enter your body. And also just don't let it touch your skin. <laughs> gonna put on some protection just in case, eh? You know, surely you'd think that a kit with so many safety precautions would come with like a pair of gloves or or goggles. No, no. It's kind of just like to their own. Every man for himself. This mask is not gonna stay on. I need a new mask. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Oh, to own a pair of goggles. I cannot see anything. Okay, so this is what it comes with. There's this um, container. Inside the container, there's like things in it. Comes with a stick, instructions, and that's it. Okay, adult supervision is required at all times. Basically, almost an adult, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. So you need 90 milliliters of hot water to grow your crystal. Use boiling water, water at 100 degrees Celsius, if possible. As this makes the crystals grow best. To measure exactly 90 milliliters, pour the hot or boiling water into the container until it reaches 20 milliliters before the rim of the container. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna go put the water to boil. I don't know if boiling water is 100 degrees. <sighs> Big brain stuff here. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna boil the water. Hope for the best. Now from the top, make a drop. That's somewhat macaroni in a pot. That's somewhat I said a bop bop bop. That's somewhat macaroni. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Mm. Too much, too much water. Yeah, that should be fine. Put it to boil, put it to boil. See you later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back with the kettle. So, first things first, pull out the wedgie. Second thing second, pull out the stuff, put it on the side. I'm already playing dangerous games here. All right, so got a ruler out here. A nice ruler that belongs to Laika Gafur. Too bad. Um, 20 milliliters, did they say? That's that much. Okay, there needs to be that much space from the top, make it drop, that's a wrap. So I need to pour the water up to here, basically, if you can see that. I'm gonna burn my finger, I can feel it already. There we go. That's about almost perfectly 20 milliliters from the top. Just add a slight more. There we go. Oh, maybe that was too much. Who cares? Clean up this mess. <clears throat> it says, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. What do you mean you can use the printed scale next to the diagram? There is no printed scale. Anyway. Now add the contents of the large bag to the water. Huh? Let's get this breadboard. Okay, must I pour all the contents? That seems like a lot. You know what? I'm just gonna assume that I gotta pour all of it, man. We gotta pour this in here and then we're gonna stir, man. I can't see jack shit. No, I can't. I don't know if I'm pouring into the container or on the floor. Most importantly, am, are we sure that we're supposed to pour it all? Look at me. I should be a freaking Broadway songwriter. 
Mix, mix. I'm guessing this is the bottom. Okay, okay. Stir until the, all the powder has dissolved to make a solution. Allow the solution to cool in the container until it's warm. Not too cool, not too hot, and ideally around 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, lady, how am I supposed to freaking calculate that it's 40 degrees Celsius? I have nothing to say for these people. Oh. It does go away pretty easily. Okay, okay. It's looking good. I wonder if you can see it. Let me... Right, you can't see me, but I'm smiling under the mask. It's kind of difficult to breathe in here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wonder if me stopping to mix interfered with the solution. I just want my crystals to look pretty. Oh, I haven't shown you my crystals. Okay, I'll do that later. Okay. It is practically completely dissolved now. There's like one or two things still floating in the water, but let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You gotta leave it to cool. Now take the small bag containing the seeding mixture. Use the seeding stick. Sticker. The seeding sticker. Make sure it's clean and dry before use. Gently sprinkle all the seeding mixture over the surface of the warm solution. The particles should sink and spread evenly on the base of the container. Please put the lid on the Okay, okay. I'm guessing this is the sticker. I think they meant stick. Alright, it has been rinsed. Now while we wait, wait for it to cool, let's talk about crystals, shall we? I mean, I myself own quite a bunch of them. Let's move this out the way before I knock it out of here. So, I own a couple myself. This is my newest crystal. I have not named her. She is a rose quartz. Tiny. I hate the feeling of chains on my skin. Got kind of like a weird condition anyways so this is this this is not i don't know what material this is to be honest it feels like just rubbery plastic anyways this is the newest one rose quartz is the uh, crystal for taurus apparently and that's my star sign so that is why i have that but also rose quartz is just like a gateway crystal into getting into crystals if that makes sense here we have my dear friend amethyst Amethyst is pretty, 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 pretty. We should actually probably talk about the properties of these crystals, but you know what? I am way too lazy to Google them right now. All I know is that amethyst is really good for sleep. Then I have my good friend Amber here. So if you look inside Amber, it's almost as if an insect or something, I don't know, something was crystallized inside of it over time. It's really cool, man. You can tell it's amber because it's got like this citrony type of color and then it has like red stuff inside of it. And then over here, we have my little friend Aquamarine. I don't know, I just love anything to do with the ocean and this sounds pretty oceany to me. Now, I don't remember exactly which one this one is. I don't even think it's a crystal, I think it might be a gemstone. Um. If I'm not mistaken, rainbow hematite or something like that. Yeah, interesting. And then, second last, this was my first crystal. This is clear quartz. Clear quartz can be used in substitution of any crystal. It is great. Um, yeah, look at it, it's pointy. People always make a joke, hey, aren't you gonna stab yourself? And I'm like, maybe, oh, it depends how I feel on the day, you know what I mean? And then right up here, there's a little crystal inside of it, but I'm not entirely sure what kind of crystal it is. It looks like a ruby, but you never know. And then this is my favorite, Snowflake Obsidian. I love it so much. If you know anything about crystals, you know that obsidian is quite sensitive. It contains a lot of energy, therefore you need to cleanse it quite a bunch of times. I've heard a lot of people whose crystals kind of just cracked on them. Rough times. You must be careful with your crystals. Not all of them can go in sunlight and not all of them can go in water. So you should Google these things if you plan on getting one for yourself. Oh, and not all of them can be near each other. Thankfully, none of my little crystals have issues with one another. I know that this bad boy right here, the hematite, cannot go in water. And I know that it's best to keep amber out the sun if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, crystals have beautiful healing powers. Okay, so it feels warm now. 
Maybe not 40 degrees, but you know I am. Well, we're, we're risking it. Okay, so now take the small bag. Oh, that is tiny. I need to gently sprinkle the little seeding on the surface of the warm water solution. The particles should sink and spread evenly over the base of the container. I hardly opened the thing. All right, do this. Make sure you're in there. It sank to the bottom. Cool, now you gotta just close it. Here's the lid, putting it on. I don't know if you can see it, but I cannot risk picking it up. All right, the lid is on. Cool, cool, cool. Vibes. So, the crystals need a temperature above 20 degrees Celsius to grow properly. Ciao. It's summer in Cape Town, but that is not saying a lot, okay? You know Cape Town weather. Put the container in a warm room or on top of your refrigerator. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't refrigerators cold? When it will be warm, do not put the lid on the container. What? These instructions are so confusing. First it says, please put the lid on the container. And now it says, do not put the lid on the container. Your crystal will start to grow in the first day and reach a width of about 40 millimeters and a height of about 30 millimeters in four to seven days. Ah, I gotta come back to this in a week. Ciao. Aww. The size will vary depending on the environment in which crystals are growing. Okay. Now, during the crystal growing process, small crystals may grow around the inner wall of the container. This effect is called crystal climbing. A form because the liquid moves up through the tiny gaps between the crystals themselves and between the crystals and the container. And then because the water evaporates allowing crystals to grow, these small crystals may eventually grow out of the container and stay in the tabletop. You advise to remove the small crystals gently without disturbing the solution when you see them beginning to grow inside the container. So must I open the lid for that? When the crystal has reached the size described above, drain away the remaining solution. Use the seeding stick to hold the crystal in the container as you tip up the container. All right, the rest of the stuff is for after it's grown. Okay, so I guess I, I gotta find a warm place for this or something. But I also don't really know what room in this house is warm. I mean, they're all kind of the same if we're being honest here. Why does life have to be so confusing? Is that an air bubble I see? It doesn't make sense. There can't be an air bubble in here. There's a room for air. Something, something. Why is my room door not opening? Hmm. You know what? I think my room is warm enough. Just put on the windowsill. Should be fine. Chilling out front while eating some meatball out of the school. Bye, find you in a new home. See you tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. And the day after that. And maybe if this takes too long, I have to see you for a whole freaking week. And I don't know if I like to see you that much. Okay, bye bye. Bye now. Okay guys, so um, it is day two and uh, I'm starting to think I should have listened to the instructions maybe when it said um, the crystals need a temperature above 20 degrees Celsius to grow because this is the current situation. The crystals are looking great, look at them man, look at them. <laughs> okay, um, for real that's quite the issue, uh, let's go find it a new place to grow. Okay, I found a place in my house, it's 23, get up behind the thing, yo. All right, see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is day three now and I went upstairs, I checked. Teeny smidge, smidge, smidge of a crystal is forming. So this is exciting stuff. I mean, I don't think they'll be fully grown in seven days, but right, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so this is the progress so far. If you look closely, there you see tiny little smidges of crystals forming. Look at that. Exciting stuff. So, I just got back from, well no, I didn't just get back from work, I honestly just forgot to film a video. Well, I got back from work a few hours ago, that's why I look like this. I was an elf. It's Christmas season. Anyways, it's day three or four. Three show, three show. I don't know what day it is, but um, let's go check up on the crystals. Oh my gosh, guys. It's looking so cool, look at that. Oh my goodness. They're getting big. Looks amazing. Hey guys, okay, so it is day eight. Yikes. Um, I haven't been home for a while, so <laughs> oops, we're a day late, but we need to go dig that crystal out like ASAP, like now. I forgot to mention it is Christmas Eve, but that is not important. Here it is. That looks sick. Okay, we just need to go dispose of this. I really do this outside.
Okay. So basically what you must do is you must pour it out and use the stick to hold the crystal in the container. You know, I should have probably worn gloves while doing this, but I'm just so fucking lazy. I'm not in the mood. Why are these wet blankets in here? What the hell? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I threw it on the floor. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Why is it so heavy? Vibes, okay. Keep the crystal in there. Alright, now we just gotta empty this up onto a plate. Okay, I just need to wash this. I'm gonna rinse it, then I'm gonna put it on a plate. I've got a coffee plate, because I feel like that will work. Okay, how the frick am I gonna do this? Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm breaking the crystal. It's stuck. Mother trucker. What's the point if it's gonna be stuck? Okay. I decided I'm going to cut this thing open. It's the only way. Oh my gosh. Which parts are... Oh! It fell out. Here's my beautiful. She pretty, she pretty. Look at her. She's in her new home. She's gonna be so happy there. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. That would be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that red button, push subscribe, and um, click the bell for notifications, and follow my Instagram if you want. I don't care. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. Ben, I'll see you next week. Next week. Well, next week.